March 19, 1944. That was the decisive moment in the history of the Hungarian Jews, actually, because up till then there were no Germans in Hungary. But the Hungarians did their part, but it was still completely different from then on. I heard rumors in the morning from somebody that the Germans crossed the border. You know, we were hoping maybe not, maybe these are just rumors, maybe there's something, nothing serious. However, every Sunday afternoon when I was in Budapest, I spent my afternoon going to a five o'clock tea, they called it. It's not exactly just a tea, it's a five o'clock tea and dance. We went there to meet girls and have a good time and and the nearest place where I used to go was about a five-minute walk from my house, a, a, a hotel which was called Hotel Astoria. It's still there today. And uh, I used to go there around 4.30. I used to go out from my house a quarter to five and be there, you know, have a good time. And then in the evening, late in the evening, I had to return to my outfit. So we arrived there only in the middle of the night. So I'm approaching, I'm very nicely dressed, of course, in a suit, everything, tie, and I'm approaching the hotel, and there's a wide, very wide boulevard, and I'm approaching the hotel, and all of a sudden I see an SS man with a submachine gun standing in front of the building. So not only the Germans invaded, but they were already in Budapest, and, and when I started out from my house, I didn't know it. And and from a distance, I saw he was an SS man, I saw the insignia, and I saw the submachine gun. It turned out that they put up the, the SS put up the headquarters in that particular hotel. They were all over in the town, in the city, but that hotel where I wanted to have my five o'clock tea and dance was the headquarters of the SS. And I turned around right away, and I ran home. 